Welcome back to my shop. Today I'm going to show you a neat little trick on how to ensure that the tray on your drill press, even if it's a cheap Harbor Freight Central Machinery drill press, how the tray on it is exactly square with the chuck. Now you can use a square, I'm sure, and line it up, go through all that. For this trick, all that you're going to need here wire cutters and a coat hanger. Watch this. All right, the first thing you want to do is cut yourself off, oh, I don't know, about an eight inch piece of uh, wire. There it is. Get rid of this. This is all we need. Now what you do, you bend it into the shape of a Z. And there is no right or wrong way to do this, friends. Trust me. That'll work. You get a little tighter. What you want to do is you want to get it to where... No. Looks like a Z. Alright, so what do we do? We turn around and put the wire into the chuck. Okay, make sure it's in there properly. Now, raise your tray to where it's just touching. So just above, you know, the point is just above the top of the tray. And lock it down. All right, now, you look at it this way and spin it. And check the distance between the tip of the wire and the base of the tray all around and you'll be able to see that it is even let's see if I can get this down here so you can get a closer look to what I'm talking about there we go now watch this When you're satisfied, of course, if there's any adjustments, you turn around and make the adjustment on your tray. Tilt it left or right, up and down, whatever it needs, until that little wire is exactly just floating above the tray, all at the same height. And then you'll know that when you drill, and then you'll know that this is perpendicular to any drill bit you put in here. Too easy. So now you know that even if you can't afford a really expensive, really good drill press with a coat hanger, you can still adjust to make sure that it'll work just fine. Thanks for stopping by.